Yeah. <laughs> Brand new 120. That's crazy. That's that's like the best. I've never yeah. seen jeans that sell for that yeah. much. Come get it. If I don't get it, I'm sure it'll be worth $500. What is going on, you guys? It is a beautiful Wednesday morning. That means it's half price day here at the Goodwill Outlet, also known as the Goodwill Bins, also known as the Goodwill Clearance Center. I'm here with my beautiful wife, Haley. Today, we're going to get in here and see what cool stuff we can find to flip for profit online. Sick shirt, bro. Thanks. The original Harry Tornado shirt. Speaking Gucci. of Harry Tornado shirts, if you guys notice, I have a new shirt on. It's Harry's Tomatoes. I've noticed a couple people in like live streams, I guess they're like picking on me or something, but they keep referring to me as Harry Tomato instead of Harry Tornado. And when I met that cool guy on Sri Tips at the long yard sale, he accidentally called me Harry, Harry Tomato. So I just went with it and made shirts. So link in the description if you guys want to get a cool Harry's Tomato shirt to support the YouTube channel. Hold, hold that while I put my bra on here. Can you untwist it? Is that untwisting or twisting? That's untwisted, but you have, let's see, here you go. Yeah, it goes, okay, we're good. We got it, let's rock and roll. We're a little late, we're like five minutes late. All right, so again, it's half price day. What's up, Henry? How's it going, man? Good. It's half price day here, so normally things are like a dollar and, I don't know, a dollar and 89 cents per pound, so it's like 95 cents per pound here for most stuff. If you got big items like the suitcase or something, they'll probably just charge you like a dollar or something for that. So, uh, dig through here and see what we can find. What'd you find? Oh yeah, Sony. Yeah, we'll grab it. Let's see, we have an outlet. The back, back corner. Jeez Louise. Well, it turns on. Guess we'll take a chance on it. This was a video cassette recorder and DVD recorder. The model was Sony RDR VX500. It's fully tested. Once we got home, we plugged it up to the TV, popped in the Titanic VHS tape that we picked up at the bins, and it worked perfectly sold comps on ebay are kind of all over the place on this one given the condition of ours and the fact that it is tested and fully functional we don't have the remote unfortunately but i do think we'll be able to get about a hundred dollars for this plus shipping Nikon battery charger. Let's use one of those. I think this is a cord to that printer we have in the garage that I don't have a cord to. That's awesome. It's a Toshiba remote. Try the Toshiba VC422. Uh, 11 bucks, 12 plus shipping. Yeah, that'll be worth it. Oh. It's just a little bit crowded today. Plug in this VCR to see if it works. Like the little plastic thing is over wrapped right here, so that I think that means somebody has removed this top. So I do not have high hopes for this. It turns on. Let's see, Haley gave me that tape earlier. Let's put the tape in to see if it plays. Sounds good so far. Now let's stop and eject. Comes out clean. I think this is a winner. Let's make sure the DVD side opens up. I don't think the DVD side opens up. 
Nah. Bummer. Oh, this is like a leather bound devotional. Let me get that. Oh, here's a rock band set. PlayStation 3, probably. But no legs. It is wired. Actually, found one. It was uh, I don't know what I don't know what they're called. A lot of them use these. Yeah, yeah. It was based on something like that. I pick these up in the bins all the time. Yeah, I don't remember if it was the one that was round on both sides or one that was like flat on one side. Yeah, yeah. I try to pick stuff up like that when I find it. But uh, yeah, it was. I think I got the cord for it today. Well, folks, I don't think we're gonna find the the legs to this drum set today. Camper Chiff. Hmm. If only it had a lid. What'd you get? Uh, Let's see it. <laughs> I think, I think the best find of these jeans. Okay. It's a Raleigh denim. Raleigh denim, okay. In North oh, I didn't wow. look up solds, but like brand new. Let's see, let me go back. Anything handcrafted in North Carolina should be pretty good. So like just looking at like this one is 61% off of those, like new 335. Wow. Pre-owned 75 bucks. So let's see if go to sold. Sorry, I'm really slow. It's okay. 96 um, sold. Pre-owned wow. like 90, brand new 120. That's crazy. That's that's like the best. I've never yeah. seen jeans that sell for that yeah. much. Raleigh denim. And they're in like style, they're like high waisted. Yeah. Like skinny jeans. Skinny jeans are only for millennials, Haley. Well, there's a lot of us out here, so. <laughs> that's awesome. That's a crazy find. Yeah, that's probably the best. Yeah. This is like a, a just like a made in USA um, sweatshirt. I, th I thought it was cute. Oh yeah, it's got a little barn like on little there. Farm animals. Farm yeah. Sweatshirt. For sure. Yeah, that's that's good. This See some shirt, new attacks. This shirt is probably like really cheap. The tag only has like $22. It was new attacks. Got cool sleeves. Yeah. Hmm. Even so if I get like ten dollars for it. Yeah. Awesome. And it's really like lightweight too, so it'd be super cheap. This is another kind of like vintage shirt, um, made in USA. Um, it's like a teacher. Thing. Oh yeah. And it's got a back. Nice. Yeah, that's cute. Look how cute that is. That's cute. 100% cute. All right, not too bad. I'm looking for the legs to this rock band set. They were here yesterday. I remember seeing them yesterday. So if you see them anywhere, if you know what they look like. Yeah. Yeah, just let me know. Ooh, what is this? Here the friend everyone wishes they had. Blah. I guess I could still get this even without the legs. Cause like maybe somebody has a drum set and then it breaks, but they still have the legs and they just want the replacement head. I guess I'll look up comps on just the, just the, the top. And then there's Rockman Harmonics wired PlayStation, 29 bucks plus shipping, no stand. That's exactly the one I have. 30 bucks plus shipping. I mean, that's that's worth it. $45 in shipping. It would not cost $45 to ship that unless it was going to California or something. So I'm going to get it. I'm just grabbing some boxes right now. All these empty boxes are free here. Easy just to get some stuff to use for shipping found this thing. I think it's like a tent or something that you just... Yeah. <laughs> I really don't know what it is. Oh, I have a question to ask. Oh, it's... Yeah, what's up, man? I was thinking about uh, tweeting it to you, but, uh, or Instagram it to you. Um, when you first started, after about half a year or so, uh -huh. when did you actually switch to being uh, like an eBay store where you pay to do that? Uh, I wouldn't worry about it until you get to around uh, 350 active listings. Because right now, most of the time, eBay is going to let you list, the, a store only saves on insertion fees for the most part. And eBay is right. going to let you list like 
200 to 250 things for free okay. with no insertion fees. So your so break even point. Like push stuff in their uh, search no. or anything? No, the benefit is just you save on insertion fee. Like we have the third store, it's like the premium. Uh -huh. It's $59.95 a month or something like that. Yeah. We get a thousand free listings. We get like $50 in free shipping supplies every quarter. Okay. Um, I think you get like maybe a shipping discount or something. I'm not 100% sure, but it's not very much. Okay. But I wouldn't worry about it until you get to around a th uh, around 300, 350 active listings. Then you could look at, yeah. There's probably YouTube videos that explain everything in, in detail. Okay, I'll, I'll um, look But I, we've, had that, we've had that store for probably, I don't know, like maybe six months or so after we started. Okay. And uh, this, we haven't upgraded or anything like that since. Okay, cool. I'm trying to figure out how to get this thing folded back up here is that is that folded back up I, can't, I don't know how this thing works i'm just gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it just like that just how i found it Haley looks ready to go i didn't find much of anything i got this uh this devo jesus our perfect hope it's like leather bound mm -hmm. originally 23 dollars so uh, just a bunch of small stuff and the vcr and the rock band set over there you ready Good, how are you? And then have this stuff. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, watch the cord. And these two. And this is electronics. That's empty box. I got a whole bunch of empty boxes over there. Twelve dollars and thirty cents. We're gonna make it a thirteen house for a Japanese. Uh, yes, ma'am. That'd be fun. Thirteen bucks. Thank you. Guys. Thank well, you. You, you too. You got all that? Got this. You want this? The stand? Uh, uh, oh, I yeah. I was. I was actually looking for it. Yeah. Here you go. Hey, how are you? So, Tim. I think this is the right one. Treasure turtle. <laughs> yeah, they fit. Yeah, I was looking for the drum set. I was like, hey, I got two of them right now. Let's. I appreciate it, man. That's right. You got everything else? Yeah. Nice. Go ahead and go on the other one while you put that on. Okay. Found some good stuff. All right. Let's go see what Haley found. Ooh. Almost tripped. Come on, shoes. Don't fail me. Look what we got here. This is the other baseball bat that we didn't get last week and we couldn't find yesterday. $3.94. We'll go ahead and grab it. Needs a new grip, but we'll just wrap that with athletic tape. No chips, no cracks, no dents. Should be good to go. What'd you find? Urban Outfitters. Ooh, Urban Outfitters. New with tags. New with tags. That's pretty good. <laughs> Those definitely look like something all the freaking kids these days. <laughs> yeah, Gen Z would wear. Over here at like the posters and like wall decor section and look at this. Wow. It's 25 bucks. But I mean that's really cool. What does it say at the bottom? Bravado 2002. It says right there Myth Gen 2002 Funky Led Zeppelin. Hey, is it worth 25 bucks though? I mean, that's almost vintage. One more year and that'll be vintage. And it's in a really nice frame. Like, it's got, like, the wire on the back. Hmm. <laughs> what to do, what to do. I'm gonna get it. If I don't get it, I'm sure it'll be worth $500. Haley, check this out. It's from, it's from 2002, which means it's almost vintage. I thought it was super cool. Haley just found this pair of men's Levi jeans, size, uh, it's classic 505, size 32 by 30, made in USA. Yep. It says right there on the tag, uh, 505, regular fit, straight leg. That's a really good size, very classic. We're gonna pay, I think, five, 575 for jeans here. Um, 
What do you think they'll sell for? Like 30, 40 bucks plus I shipping? So. Yeah. I think so. I found this earlier. It's a uh, Polo Ralph Lauren. Polo Ralph Lauren 3XL hoodie. It's got a little white pony on the thing, but it's missing the little drawstring. I don't see anything else wrong with it. It should be like $4.75. But I don't know if it would be worth picking up without the drawstring. Can't tell if it's still in there or not, or just like falling down. What do you think? 3XL? I mean, that's a good size. Maybe I should get it. That's really unique. I've never seen a Ralph Lauren anything like that. I'm gonna get it. Okay, so I found these in style pants. Free, They're free people. Free people, okay. Right Those are really in style. Um, these are also really in style. I think these are the free people brand. I'm we the free? 25? Sure. Yeah. Jeans. Those are definitely in style, like the straight leg or whatever. These are made well. Made well. I don't know these pants. just because they have that, but they would sell good. Okay. I'm going to show you these. I didn't show you these. Oh, they're fine. Ah. A Gold Day, Los Angeles. A Gold Day? There's only 24 listed, but 12 sold. 24 listed, 50% selfie, right? A lot of the new ones are selling for like $70. Okay. And then you have the Levi's. Levi's. Levi's and the, those are their urban, urban Outfitters. That's yes. awesome. I'm glad you're so excited. I don't know anything. Except this poop, the poster. <laughs> <laughs> this poster is cool. Trump tie here. I think I'll get this. I mean, it's in really good shape except for this little piece coming off there. But I don't think that's a huge, huge deal. Ties are only like 50 cents here, so I'll grab it. Found this pair of Reebok CrossFit shorts, men's size 34. Looked to be in really good condition, no stains or holes or anything like that. And I don't know, I just decided to look them up. And there's the exact one sold right there for $24.86 free shipping free owned condition so these will be three dollars and 75 cents so we'll definitely go ahead and scoop these up for sure okay what is it zero woman i have zara Vera. jeans i have jeans uh, with it yes yeah. new attack oh wow the back and the back is super fun yeah yeah, yeah. that's awesome that's really cool i've heard of zara before but super i never knew fun. if it was good or not Ooh, I don't want to, oh, that's Just like on top. Um, I found another made well skirt. Oh, nice. A short skirt. Um, and then I found these. Oh, this is the jeans, the Zero Woman. Oh, nice. Jeans, new attack. Yeah, those are awesome. Same like embroidery pattern. That's it. Sweet. I killed it today, John. Yeah, you really did. Killed it. Look at all these clothes. I know. I know. You caught the fever. There's no going back. She's done for, folks. Hello, how are you? Good, how about you? Good, good. We actually ended up spending so much time at that last Goodwill that my GoPro battery died while we were checking out at the cash register. But I think we ended up spending like 96 or $97 in the retail side of Goodwill today. Most of that came from the Led Zeppelin poster that was like 26 bucks and everything else came from all the clothes that Haley was able to pick up. She is super excited about reselling, man. Like when we were trying to make the decision if she would quit her job and join me full time, we were, uh, we were very careful. Like we had a lot of thought and prayer and planning that went into, into that move. And to be honest, we were kind of nervous at first, but now seeing, you know, how the business is growing so quickly and seeing how much happier she is now that she's not having to go to work every day, you know, go somewhere to work. Uh, we just, we know without a doubt that this was the right move for us as a business and as a family. All in all today, I think we spent about 115 bucks between the Goodwill bins and the Goodwill retail side. And we should make almost all of that money back just on that first VCR DVD combo unit that Haley found at the bin. So it was a great day of sourcing for sure. If you guys have enjoyed today's video at all, take a couple seconds and hit that like button for us down below. It's totally free. It really helps us out a ton. Again, get your Harry's Tomatoes shirts on our website. You can also get one of these original support your friend shirts on the website as well. Our website is www.shopharrytornado.com. We do not sell any of our merch on eBay anymore. A lot of people were stealing our designs. So if you ever see a support your friend shirts like, like this, on uh, eBay, it's not for me, I promise. So thank you guys again for watching. You're the best, and we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>